Welcome everyone, make yourself comfortable. For the next couple of minutes, we'll embark on a journey to the port. Thank you for joining me. Today, we'll set up our environment for the videos to come. Installing compilers and other tools can be tricky. Fortunately, in the JVM world, there's a fantastic piece of technology that gets rid of all the hassles, SDK man. Installing it is quite simple. First, let's navigate to SDK man's web page. Here, we can appreciate it enables us to install a bunch of stuff, Java and Maven being the ones we care about. Plus, it works on multiple platforms like Mac OS, Linux, and even Windows with the help of Sidewind. For more information about Sidewind, you can visit the description of this video. The installation process for SDK Man is just the same on any of these platforms. We just have to copy and then paste this command in our terminal and run it. As a side note, you should be cautious about doing this. It is known that the server can detect when you are directly executing the output of core, potentially exposing you to bad stuff and in any case, it's a very bad idea to blindly run others code in your machine. You can find out more in the link at the description. I'm very sorry if I get you a bit scared for a moment, but I find these tiny details fascinating and most of the time they are ignored, so you're welcome. Now, for SDK man to start working, we can run this command. The installer is pointing out to us. Or just start a new session. Let's do the latter. In our new terminal, we'll run SDK help, and that's it. SDK man has been successfully installed in our machine. Let's now go with what we really wanted to install since the beginning. Java Maven. For looking at what version of the JDK SDK man has to offer, we just have to run SDK list Java. Whoa, that's quite an extensive list. In the following videos, we'll be using Java 11, since it is the current version with long term support, or LTS version for short. There are several providers ranging from the Adopt OpenJDK project, Azure System, and even Amazon. Please feel free to pick the provider you want. I myself tend to use the binaries from Bellsoft since they are free and Bellsoft is among the top 5 most active contributors to the JDK. And after the installation process is done, we can run java-version on our terminal just to check if everything went all right. Getting Maven is quicker. Since there's only one provider, we can execute the command SDK install Maven and that's it. And yet again, just to be cautious, we can run Maven dash version to be certain that we have Maven correctly installed on our computer. And for the last but absolutely not least tool in our toolkit, let's install or integrated development environment, or IDE for short. And that will be JetBrains IntelliJ IDEA. Again, you're free to pick the IDE of your liking, but I'll be using IDEA in my videos since it's my favorite. Against the popular opinion in the Linux community, I prefer Canonical's SnapD for this one, but you can download it from your distribution's official repositories. And in the case of Windows and Mac OS users, just like any other program you have installed in your computer. A simple snap install IntelliJ IDEA community dash dash edge is enough to get the most up-to-date version of the IDE. And don't worry, this version is rock solid. I have never gotten any issues with it. And now for the extra bits. SDK Man offers other two wonderful features I want you to know about. It allows us to install multiple versions of the same package. So, for example, we could have Java 11 and 8 in our machine and choose whichever we want to use in this particular terminal. 
But keeping track of which version of what package we need for a particular project can be a pretty harsh job. Fortunately, SDK Man has this covered. We can create a configuration file with the env init command that will get populated with our current settings. When we want to set up our environment for a project, we just have to execute SDK env and that's it. And this process can even be automated if we choose to. Now's your turn. Download SDK Man and install Java and Maven on your computer. While you are on that, also install IntelliJ IDEA. Remember to share your experience in the comment section. And more importantly, have fun. You'll find links to the pages shown in the video in the description plus a couple of other for additional information. Thank you for joining me on my journey to the port. Till the next time!